Hi, state your name. Hi, I'm Mark Carnavale. Do you solemnly swear? Do you solemnly swear? That I will support and defend. That I will support and defend. The United States, the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of California. The Constitution of the State of California. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance. That I will bear true faith and religion. To the Constitution of the United States. To the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of California. And the Constitution of the State of California. That I will take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation. Or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. That and that I will well. And that I will. <coughs> And, well, faith, and faithfully discharge and faithfully discharge the duties upon which I'm about to enter. The duties that I'm about to enter. Thank you. This is my big sister, Dawn. <laughs> She's always bigger than getting in front of me. <laughs> okay, I state your name. I'm Nancy Ross. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend. That I will support and defend. Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the United States, and the Constitution of the State of California, and the Constitution of the State of California, against all enemies, foreign and domestic, against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of the United States, to the Constitution of the United States, and the Constitution of the State of California, and the Constitution of the State of California. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation. Or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. And that I will well. And that I will well. And faithfully discharge the duties upon which I am about to enter. And that I'll do what? <laughs> <laughs> faithfully discharge the duties. And I will faithfully discharge the duties. Upon which I am about to enter. Upon which I am about to enter. Thank you. Thank you. Mayor Carnivale, if you'd like to make some comments. some uh, terrific work. It's a, a beautiful gavel. I believe it's from the Cathedral City. But before we give you this, and I also have a gift I want to give you, but I wanted just to say a few words about uh, Mayor Lamb here. You know, she represented Cathedral City with courage, strength, and calmness due to time of disaster here. We had some bad times. It wasn't always the last 12 days. It was always fun. She went through a lot. But she represented Cathedral City with professionalism. And, and the best representation that Cathedral City could ask for. We were all blessed to have her as our mayor last year. Thank you very much. I think you already said some words, but if you want to say anything. I did. I, you know what? I, um, uh, you know, I, I said earlier, I just never expected this. I retired as an elementary school principal, and I thought I would happily make the target TJ Maxx, Trader Joe's run. Um, I got a little bored and, um, you know, this this happened. Um, and then I get to represent you um, is wonderful. And um, I talk about the professionalism because having the words to say and having the facts, not just the opinions, but having the facts to say 
um, you know, to the public and to the news and to the community members, you know, makes all the difference um, in, in confidence and building trust with our um, city official and everyone. So thank you so much, and I couldn't be prouder to work with my colleagues, I mean, Ernesto Gutierrez and Raymond Gregory and Nancy Ross and now Mayor um, Mark Carnival. I really appreciate all that you do every single day. Thank you. group photo of everybody right here. Good evening. Thank you all so very much for coming. It's going to be a super exciting year for me because I want to collaborate with each and every one of you. And I know together with Mark, we will get some amazing things done this year. Not to say we haven't in the past. But we're looking forward now, and we're saying what it is we can do. I know so many of you care and love about so many of you who are here, and I, and I am just confident that we will strive and achieve things that we never had before. Cathedral City has been on a trajectory for as long as I've been here, and I am confident in our mayor and in our council that we will continue that. And I hope that he doesn't beat me up too much, but I'm going to be hanging on to it all year long. So thank you all very much, very much for coming. And I look forward to working with each of you. Thank you. And I'm going to really change here. But it's still the same five individuals that have been working here in the city for years with, with the same wonderful staff, Charlie and Christine and Tracy and the police and fire department. So basically, we've just switched some chairs around. We're all still committed, each and every one of us, to bring Cathedral City forward and keep continuing to do the good works that we've all done, collaborating with everybody that I just mentioned. And, and John over here, the hard work that you do, and Tony, all these volunteers, I'm so blessed to be here. Thank you very much.